I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Rakakadash. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and great millstone. And I want to talk about this blood moon that just passed. And also the eclipse, the um the the full eclipse that happened August 21st, 2017. And this is Acts 2, verse 20. The, sh the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before that great and notable day of the Lord come. And both of those things have just happened. Only... <laughs> only 11 months apart and both of those both of the, those are really those are prophecies because it's in uh revelation 6 too and we gonna get that but this is really like this is really like uh when those nukes are going to hit, hit this country, hit America, because the sun is going to be blocked out. And he, and Yahweh side, Yahweh, he's doing these, he's doing these things, these marvelous wonders up in heaven. He's showing us the times and we living in these end times right now. And this is that solar eclipse. He turned, he darkened the sun. He darkened the sun. And then he just turned the moon red as blood. These are the works of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Uh, and this is uh, a video from like the Simpsons. We're gonna get back to this though. We're gonna go back to that though. And then this is the uh, video about the blood moon, the rare blood moon. And uh, we're gonna get into this real quick. See a total lunar eclipse tonight for an hour and 43 minutes. The longest of this century. A lunar eclipse occurs when the Earth passes between the sun and the moon, casting a deep shadow over the moon's surface. We in the U.S. did not get to see it, but Seth Doan found a beautiful... See that we in the, U in the U.S. did not get to see it. That's lights out America, man. The whole U.S. did not get to see this rare blood moon. But with the solar eclipse, do you understand this? Do you, un with the solar eclipse, the only ones that could see it is if you were in America. Lights out. He darkened the sun. Which is going to happen when the nukes hit. The moon will be turned blood red. Which is going to happen after those nukes hit. Beautiful spot in Rome. Rome has a stunning skyline, but tonight the real spectacle was the sky itself. What we're seeing is the Earth casting its shadow on the moon. The Earth is blocking the sun, so the only light that's making it to the moon is what's refracted through the Earth's atmosphere. That casts a reddish glow, creating 
a blood moon. It's the longest eclipse this century, nearly two hours. These amateur photographers wanted to capture every minute. How is it to see? It's a spectacular. I, 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 I don't think I, I'll see again uh, I think like this in, in my life. No tickets required, wine and olives optional. This was a free show with no regard for borders. They gazed at the same moon in Gaza, in Israel, in Egypt. Folks peered through telescopes in Johannesburg, and amateur astronomers hit the streets in Taiwan. Of the 7.4 billion people on Earth, about 7 billion in theory was in North America and Greenland where time of day did not allow. Since For those who couldn't see it America. so well, NASA put out a sort of highlights reel to appropriate music. Now we're going back to Acts 2, verse 19, and I will show wonders in heaven above. He's showing wonders in the heavens above. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood. Let's get uh, Revelations chapter 6. Revelations chapter 6. This is verse 12. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. That's when them nukes hit America, man. That's when the Lord is going to give his judgment on this place, man. And the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casted her untimely figs when she has shaken of a mighty wind and the heaven departs as a scroll when it is rolled together in every mountain see when the nukes hit it's gonna look like a scroll that's rolled together you know the mushroom cloud and it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be man it's gonna be destruction man it's not just going to be one mushroom. Every every country, the EU, that's the ten horns. Let me go get that. This is uh, Revelation 17. And then I'm going to go back to Revelation 6. And the ten horns which saw it. And Salakia, and the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast. These shall hate the whore. And the ten horns, that's representing the EU. And the EU is going to turn on America. America's allies is going to turn on America. And they're going to shoot them every nuclear missile in their arsenal. Along with Russia. Along with China. And they shall make her desolate and naked. And shall eat her flesh. And burn her with fire. That's them nuclear missiles, man. And let me get one more scripture. And this is 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat that's the nukes man it's gonna be a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat Ain't nothing going to survive, man. And the earth also and the works 
that are therein shall be burned up. Ain't nothing going to make it past the, ain't nothing going to survive these nuclear missiles, man. These ICBMs. Now let me go back. Now I'm back. Uh, uh, Revelation 6, chapter 14. And the heavens departed as a scroll when it is rolled together. And every mountain and island were moved out of their places. Why do you think they were moved out of their places? Because them nuclear ICBMs is going to shake this world, man. And it's going to rock America. That's basically all I wanted to go to. It's going to be lights out for America, man. And it's coming. Hold on. Let me go back to Acts 2. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before that great and notable day of the Lord come. We witnessed the solar eclipse in 2017, August 31st. And the blood moon was just Friday, August 27th. I mean, Salaki, the blood moon was just Friday, July 27th, July 27th, before the great and notable day of the Lord come. Yeah, I was coming, man. He's, he's. He's getting ready to crack them clouds open, man, and come with the chariots, man. And I can't wait, man. It's gonna be martial law. It's gonna be RFID chips. It's gonna get, it's gonna get hectic out here, man. It's gonna get real crazy out here. But you gotta keep the faith. You gotta keep praying. Got to keep praying to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash. And that's all I want to go into. I hope you found this edifying. I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash, and Barakatham. To all you brothers out there that's laboring in this work and this truth. Shalom to the hopefully let.